So Power BI is a business intelligence tool which is developed by or created by Microsoft. So it's part of the Power products that is out there. And we have three versions. We have the desktop version which you can download and use on your computer. Then we also have the uh, service version which is a paid version which is mostly or which mostly allow you to i mean collaborate on a project because it is stored in the cloud so you can access it over the internet then we have the phone version which you can use to view your reports so the first thing that we're gonna learn about power bi is how to install power bi so to install power bi you can visit microsoft.com or you can just go to google and type power bi or you can go to the microsoft marketplace and search for power bi to install so any of these ways can allow you to install power bi okay so now i want to talk briefly about the interface of power bi if you are familiar with excel you can see some similarities between power bi and excel so we have the title bar which normally tells you the title of your project we have a search bar here a sign in then minimum maximum and close button then we have a, a quick save button here redo and undo then we also have the ribbon which has the various tabs so we have the file tab which can give you other i mean menu to you know search for specific or do specific tasks we have the home tab which has several tools under it we have paste cut copy format painter get data so these are some of the tools under home tab then we have the insert tab which also has different set of tools under them we have modeling tab which has different set of tools view tab optimize then help okay so on the left hand side too we have the report view which is a view of reports that you create then we have the table view which shows I mean the data that you load into Power BI. Then we have the model view where I mean you see the relationship between the data set that you load into Power BI. So assuming you load a data or an Excel file that contains uh, two or more sheets, you see the relationship here. Then there is this new uh, tool here which is that square view. So here you can create or you can write uh, DAX uh, quotes here. So DAX is data analysis expression, which is a language in Power BI or Excel that you can use to create or to write quotes. Okay. Right, so now I want us to look at how we can load Power BI. No, before we look at that, let's look at the left pin or the left side of Power BI. So we have the filter pin, the build pin, which contains the various data types that you can load into Power BI. So on the left hand side, we have the filter pin, the build pin. So the filter pin is where you can filter data then the build pin contains different visuals that you can use to create your report then we have if you click on this icon format so this gives you format options that you can apply to your data set then the first one is the data so when we load data into power bi this is where we can see it okay 
then if you want to hide the paint you can just click on the double arrows here to hide them okay right so now we can look at how we can get data into power bi so power bi you can connect to different data sets from different sources so quickly what uh, we see on the rep the report viewers you can connect or import excel files or csv files you can also connect sql uh, data sets so any of the i mean relational database management systems you can connect to power bi and pick out queries you can also create blank uh, or you can select blank and create your own data then you can also use sample data which is provided by uh, microsoft excel that comes bundled with power bi when you install right then on the top here when you click on get data these are the various sources that you can connect to power bi to you know to get data from the web text sql server then if you want more when you click on more it will give you a list of all the sources that you can connect data to power bi from okay right so now that we know how we can get data into power bi let's try loading data into power bi so i'll go to import and i'll select this sales data set okay So now Power BI is loading uh, the data set into, into it. Okay, so this sheet that I want to load has three uh, sheets. Oh, sorry, this workbook or this Excel file that I want to load has three sheets. So we have the location. And when you click on it or you check it, it gives you a preview of what the data is. Then we have products, then sales. So this book work, Excel workbook is made up of three sheets. So when you come down here, you see load, transform data, and cancel. So load will load the data directly into Power BI for you. Then transform data will allow you to open the data into Power Query. And this will allow you to do some transformation or data cleaning. But today our focus is on Power BI. So we are not going to transform the data sets. Then if you don't want to load anymore, you can just cancel it. So I will just choose load to load the data set into Power BI. Yeah, so once you click load, you see that the data is loading into Power BI. So let's wait as the data loads into Power BI. Okay, so now our data is successfully loaded into Power BI. And when you look at the right pane, the right side of Power BI again, and the data pane, you see that the, diff the various sheets are loaded into Power BI. So we have the products, the sales, then the location. So now when we come to model view, you can see that uh, the product table is connected to sales via a common, a common key. Let me see the common key here. So we have product here. And there is product here so this has created a connection between the two products so as we move on we'll talk about data modeling in power bi okay right so this is how we can get data into power bi okay so the next thing that 
we want to look at is now that we have data into Power BI, we can look at basic, I mean, visuals or how we can create basic visualization in Power BI. So under build, you see the different kind of visuals that you can use. So we have the, uh, the stack bar chart, uh, start column chart, we have the line chart, donut chart, pie chart, we have tables, then we can also create maps, and then we can create cards. So these are just different types of maps or charts that we can use. Okay, so with our sale data set, let's try and create our first chart. So assuming that we want to find the total sales for this for the sales data set, we can do that by inserting a card. So Power BI has two types of cards. We have the old card and the new card. So I'll try with the old card. So I'll just click on card and it inserts a card for us. Then Power BI also has built-in measures. Measures are simply calculations. So now if I want to find the total sales, I'll just click on the amount. And Power BI will automatically, I mean, apply sum as a measure to the amount for me. But if you want to change the measure, you can just click on. This is just a shortcut uh, pop-up menu. You can use here or you can use this side of uh, this option as well. So when I click here, I can see the measure here. So the summarization is sum. When I drop down, I can see different types of measures. So if I want the average sales, I can just choose the average sales. If I want the minimum sales, I can just do that. But currently we want the maximum, the sum of sales. So I'll just choose sum. Okay, so this gives what the first uh, visual or a KPI of sum of sales. Okay, so once you've created your card, you have an option to edit it. So when you come on the right hand side and, uh, and you see format here. So when I select format, I have the option to. I mean, I have options to edit the card. So assuming I want to change or apply certain editing to the callout value, I can click on, uh, let me see, callout value. Okay. So assuming I want to increase the size, we have the font size, which will help you to increase the size of the amount. Then you can also change the font size. Okay. But I think I'll leave it at the original font size. You can also make it bold. You can make it italic. So these are just basic, I mean, formatting that you can apply to the card. The call out value. So the call out value is the amount that is displayed on the card. So you can change the color of the amount. Okay. I think, let me use this color. All right. Then the units. So auto will apply an automatic, I mean, units to the amount. But you can drop down and choose different, I mean, units. So if I choose thousands, this is what we get. Millions, this is what we get. Billions. Billions is say zero. So what I need to do is value decimal places. So let's say maybe I'll go for two decimal places. Okay. Or you can choose trillions. Then I need about, yeah, five decimal places. So let me go back to either none. So none will also give you this value. But I think auto is better. So auto will just give you, I mean, 
then I'll change the decimal places to let's say two decimal places so this is what we have okay so under font you can apply this editing to the card okay so now I come to title you can apply title to the card by just I mean toggling this on a button then you drop down so title I'll call it total sales okay so there's our total sales I'll increase the font size a bit let's say to 17 I'll make it bold I'll change the color to let's say no I think I'll make it white then I'll change the background to let's say move okay that's fine then I'll put it in the middle so this becomes a title then you see by default you have this title here once I'm creating my own title I can get rid of that by just uh, going to category label and I toggle it off so that will remove the category label so we have a beautiful card but you see we can when I click outside this is what we have maybe we can give the card an outline or I want to go to st uh, size and style then I'll choose shadow yeah so at least this gives the card a very beautiful shadow so basically this is how you can create cards in uh, power bi okay so the next visual that i want to talk about is how we can create column charts or bar charts so let's assume that i want to find uh, the sales for each geography or geographical area so what I'll do is I'll just click outside this card because if I sell I I still if the card is still active and I click on any of the charts it will change to that chart. So I need to click outside or in an empty space. Then I select a column chart, start column chart or any of the charts that I want. I can drag it here. So now what I want is i want uh, sales for the various geographical areas so i'll choose geography so you see that i can close this suggestion box and use the side so you see when you choose a start column chart you have x axis and y axis so when i checked geographical or geography it automatically pu pushed it to or under x axis so I can also drag the amount to the y axis and let me close this to get enough space so this is what we have so we have the various countries and the sales amounts but I think I'll choose a different let me choose this no okay that is fine that's fine right so i will do a bit of formatting or i'll apply a bit of formatting to uh, this chart so i'll go to format the size and style is fine maybe i want to apply shadow background shadow which makes it nice okay so what i want to do is uh, the title to I will apply title to it so I'll drop down title the title is sum of amount so I'll make it sales per country okay total sales per country then I'll give it a text color of white I'll give it a background color of move then I'll increase the size to I think a bold let me check the size of this this was 17 okay so 
I'll make this 17 for consistency. Then bold. Then I also push it to the middle by choosing this. Okay. Now let me work on. Okay, this is capital. So let me let me make this capitals as well for consistency. So total sales per country. Right. Okay. So now open the x axis and increase the font size of the values so i want to make it i think 15 is fine i'll make it bold right and i'll choose this color okay now let me make it light right but i don't want this title geography here so what i'll do is i'll put this title off okay so note the difference we have two titles this is the main title and this is the title of the y-axis right okay i won't do much at layout then now i'll go to the y-axis i don't want the title so i'll put it off and I also don't want the values. I'll put it off because I want to use uh, data labels. So data labels will label the charts with uh, the specific amounts. So I'll just put on data labels. Then I'll edit it by coming to values. Increase the font size to let's say... 15 make it bold right so this is what we have now then what again okay i also change the default color of the uh, bars so to, to do that you come to columns now we have all columns so whatever color that i choose will apply to all the columns which color is okay or you can decide to you know apply individual colors to the various countries so assuming i want to apply a different color to australia i can do that then i'll select new zealand i give it a different color i select canada give it a different color then I select USA give it a different color which color which color right so basically you see you can apply different or specific colors to I mean the different uh, bars so when I come to bar charts let me apply red to this you can choose more colors and i mean so basically if we want to have different colors for all the countries this is how we can do it or you can just choose all to apply one color to all of them okay so i think i need to clear the colors before I can apply one color to all of them then we also have this FX FX is a conditional formatting when I click on this I can apply conditional formatting or conditional color or colors to the bar so assuming maybe I want to apply a certain color to uh, specific ranges let's say sales below 5000 apply this color or sales below this amount apply this color so we can do that so what i want to do is if it's uh, we have let me see we have rules 
geographical area no i want to apply to the amount okay no geographical area is fine so if let's say is i hope we have usa if it's usa we want to apply this color to it okay so you see that it has changed so you can use the conditional formatting to also apply colors to it so this is text but assuming i want to use the values then that means i have to change or select the amount field so any value uh, greater than or equal to a certain amount let's say five thousand that is number and amount less than let's say four thousand nine hundred maybe give it uh, give it this color where is the mistake maximum okay so this should be let's say twenty thousand i guess yeah so this should be the maximum number then this should be the minimum number so you see usa has is this 76 million okay so that is how you can use the fx right so basically this is how you can create i mean a chart i know the colors are not nice but this is just for demonstration purpose you can use one uniform color for all of them okay so basically this is how you can create bar charts then if i want to convert it to no there is a column chart if i want to convert it to a bar chart i'll just select bar and the orientation will change or it will be converted to bar chart very simple okay so either we keep the column chart or the bar chart okay so basically this is how we can create bar charts in power bi right so the next thing that i want us to look at is how to create a pie charts or donut charts so i'll just click outside here and choose pie chart okay then i'll click on this come to format painter so i can apply the same formatting to this card or this donut this pie chart right so now i want to look at categories so i'll select category as a legend then i'll add amount as values so this gives us what uh, this gives us the total sales but we don't okay we have the amount but it's too huge so i will just go to data labels and i reduce the size to let's say 17 right so this is what we have then i'll edit the legends so i want to i want it on top center then the title i don't want the title category so i'll just put it off then the text to i'll increase the font size a bit make it bold right okay and the color i'll choose this color so now i have the values and the percentages so with this if you come to data labels we have position so position currently is outside so if i want them inside i can just choose inside then also the amount the label content now we have data value and percentage i can choose only data value or percentage depending on what we want so i will choose data values 
and I want it outside. So this is what we have. So basically, this is how we can create a pie chart as well. Then I also change the title. So I'll make the title sum of sales sum of sales per category yeah sum of sales by category all right so this is what we have then i can also change the color of the pies so to do that i go to slices so i want to make it dark blue move then red so depending on what color that you want i can also convert it to a donut pie or a donut chart if i want it like that okay so basically this is how you can create a cards bar charts and donut charts so the next thing that i want to talk about is tables so assuming we want to insert tables for our records i can just select tables here let me drag it here okay so we want products and quantity sold so by this we create a table and we can also let me increase the values so let's see i think 15 is fine make them bold then also the column headers i will increase the font size to let's say 15 make them bold as well so this gives let me close this so this gives what uh, let me I want to edit this the values i don't want it to be bold should be light okay so now we have what a table of let me see if i can push it here So I want to reposition them. Okay. All right. So now we have a table of products and the sum of quantities sold. So basically, this is how we can create a card. Let me reduce the card small. So basically, this is how we can create a card, uh, a bar chart, and also we have our our donut pie here or donut chart sorry then also we have our table here okay right then i want to insert so i'll go to insert text box then i'll call it uh, basic charts in power bi right select all increase the font size to make
make it let's see that six is fine bold put it at the center okay then i'll make i'll apply shadows to it shadows okay then i'll just push it to the top okay right right so the next thing that i want to do is i want to create uh, a slicer so slicers are just dynamic or slicers make uh, power bi reports dynamic okay so to create a slicer i'll go back to visuals either up here or i'll choose this build but i'll select them from here so this is a slicer i'll just click on an empty space and choose slicer so this inserts a slicer and slicer to we can format it like this so style let me before that let me choose the slicer that we want maybe i'll just choose categories and slicer settings i want a drop down list so with this you can just drop down and select any of the categories and also i want it to have a shadow right okay so we have a slicer here which we can use to you know filter our records all right so now when i drop down and choose bass this will filter the sales based on bass bytes and others so now we have created a dynamic dashboard so basically this is how we can create a simple you know dashboard or a simple chat in power bi thanks for watching and please if today is your first time and you like the video please subscribe to my channel if you've already subscribed to please click on the notification bell so that you get notice of new videos that we upload thanks for watching and seeing